Hello and welcome to this third walkthrough of the Chaos Culture Multi-Clip Editor. As you'll know, if you try and select multiple MIDI clips at once in live as standard, you can't edit the stuff within them. With our device, if you're seeing it for the first time, you can click on the edit button, or in this case, I've mapped it to the E button for edit. Click on the clips that you want to select. And then press the E button again. And you'll find that your window has launched. Enabling you to view all of the clips in the same window. Now what you'll notice with these uh, strings effectively is they're all the same notes them on top of each other effectively so you can see them. Now if I want to see a little bit of a larger view I can simply click and drag and I can see more of the visible notes. If I wanted to I've also got the fold capability which is the same as you'll see in the piano roll in Ableton Live. You've seen on previous videos that I can actually make the grid smaller and bigger and that helps because I can then move my clips around that grid. Either clicking to points or with the grid off, pretty much anywhere within it. Even with the grid on, command and click allows me to change the velocity of that particular part there. And I've also got the ability to change velocity from the velocity roll at the bottom. Clips themselves, I can change the length if I click towards the right hand side. And then move. And of course, if I'm on exclusive mode, I can change the clip, the notes that are in that particular clip take off exclusive though, hit select all, Ooh. yeah not the greatest of sound but effectively for five clips I've transposed the notes instantly. Copy and paste works very nicely as well, turn on exclusive, uh, if I take this one perhaps, copy it move to the wide pad clip, paste it, it's now part of the wide pad clip as well. Of course with exclusive on I could just transpose one of the clips which works quite nicely. Don't particularly like that note that I've got there so I can deactivate the note much in the same way again as the piano roll. I've even got the ability to move it with the buttons or when selected with the arrow keys as well. The final point I'm going to make for this video, if we just take it off the grid, there is the quantize notes, which will drag it to the nearest breakpoint. Thanks for watching, we'll be back with more shortly.